I'm Genevieve Lowry and this is DIY Child Life and today's DIY do-it-yourself child life project is going to be a radiation treatment room. This project can also be used for kids that have to go to x-ray, MRI, CT scan, or any test of procedure where there's two separate rooms or a room where the parents have to leave and, and step out for. So the first thing that you're going to need is you're going to need two shoe boxes, a sharp pair of scissors, I use Playmobil, a couple of pieces from their operating room work really well for the radi to simulate the radiation uh, equipment. And uh, I use, I have string and my trusty glue gun. Where would we be without the trusty hot glue gun? So the first step is I cut the piece off of the, off one of the shoe boxes and then I have to cut a door into the shoe box, into the side. So I don't want, I don't want to cut it all the way off. I want to make sure that the door can swing open and closed. Then I'm going to hot glue this in, hot glue this in to the box. And I'm going to put my pieces in where I put the bed on one side with the radiation machine on the other. On the other side of the room, I'm, I had the Playmobil has a chest of drawers and I just turned that around and I drew my own monitor on it. And I put that in the other room and explaining to the child how this is where your mom and dad will be able to see you while they're in the, while they're in the treatment side of the room. I lay my patient on the bed and there's two other characters. One can be the doctor and one, or the technician, and one can be the parent. Playmobil also provides, uh, if this is for x-ray, Playmobil also provides these nice extra pieces of this is the blanket and this is a scrub top, but they can easily be used to be an example of the lead blanket that's used in x-ray. Either one of them can be, of the types of blankets that they'll use to protect kids during uh, x-ray treatments. So the other thing, the most difficult part of the most difficult part of going for radiation treatment is the fact that kids are separated from their from their parent. So what I like to use is something I call magic string. This is embroidery string. You can use lanyard. You can use ribbon. You can use anything to simulate any type of string will work for this. So I tie one end of the string to the patient. And I tie that on to them a little bit better than I am today so that it actually stays. <laughs> and then I thread that through the door. So the child has one piece of the string and the parent has the other piece of the string. And what this is doing is that it's showing children uh, that no matter what, the parent and the child are always connected. That there's an invisible string of love that goes between the parent and the child. And this is based on the book, The Invisible String by Patrice Carr. So you can actually even use that book as part of your explanation also. Um, I actually have used a physical piece of string when I've, when I've prepared children for this type of uh, therapy also. Where they go to the treatment and they have a piece of string and we pull it all the way through the doors. Um, I give children their own string to take home so that they can practice where they take one end of the string and they run around the corner and, or into another room and their parents pull on the string, sending their love, sending a message, sending energy to one another, courage, bravery, whatever it is that, that sort of works or speaks to that child for that type of procedure. Um, so this can be used for uh, radiation, it can be used for x-ray, it can be used for CT scan, and for today's DIY radiation treatment room. Thank you.